What's going on everyone? Hello. Um, welcome to my tech video for IS542. Um, my name is Andrew Schwartz and if you can't already tell, um, today I'm going to be talking to you about a very cool kind of emerging uh, standard for web development that has to do with uh, virtual reality. So here we are. We are in virtual reality and just the simple little hello world experience. Um, and a few things that I want to talk to you today about first is the tools and technologies that people are using to um, be able to run virtual reality experiences on the web. It's all in JavaScript and it's amazing, really what people have done. Um, so second, I actually want to show you some of the things that people have done. So this is already one example, right? It just says web XR and you can move your hands and and kind of hit stuff. And third, I want to show you guys some just quick little example, uh, just a quick example of how you can get started um, building your own kind of web application that will interact with VR or AR. Um, yeah, and it should be pretty easy. And don't worry if you do not have a headset like I do. I'm very fortunate that I have one of these. Um, I will show you a tool that you can use to be able to develop and test and see whether or not it's working in virtual reality or not. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so back into a just flat 2D surface now um, for the time being. So like I said, I wanted to talk about the Web XR Device API and 3.js. Um, and kind of just an introduction to these two libraries. The Web XR Device API gives you access and tracking to an XR device. So that could be a completely immersive VR headset, or it can be an augmented reality device. It could be your phone. Um, and it queries for those kinds of devices and gives you access to them and uh, access to the tracking information of those devices. For 3.js, um, that is built upon the uh, web graphics library, and it provides the ability for you to render a scene and to render different 3D objects. Um, so both of these kind of working in tandem will allow you to make a virtual reality or augmented reality application um, just with JavaScript. And yeah, let's get, let's get into the uh, WebXR device API. Okay, so the WebXR device API, it is the successor to the WebVR API. Um, that is kind of where where things were in initially. And let's actually take a look at the WebVR API. So this right here is the deprecated WebVR library. And like it says right here, it's been replaced by the WebXR device API. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the um, acronym XR, um, I've seen it labeled as extended reality, um, but really in this case it stands as a placeholder for saying both VR and augmented reality. So the X is kind of significant as a as a variable. Um, so whenever you see XR, usually that's the case. It's to mean that uh, whatever the XR thing is, is that it works with both augmented reality and virtual reality and anything within that, that spectrum. And like I said previously, the WebXR um, device API provides access to input and output capabilities that are associated with virtual reality and augmented reality devices. So the goals of this API is to detect XR capabilities, see if it's available, query those specific capabilities, right? So a virtual reality device has different capabilities than an augmented reality device. Um, then third, it pulls the XR device and the associated input device state, right? So it checks um, as you're rendering your scenes, it's checking the different uh, inputs that are being done, whether it's the movement of your head in the full six degrees or three degrees of freedom, or it's, you know, you have virtual reality controllers and you're moving your hands uh, like I was showing previously. So the WebXR device API pulls for that. And then finally displaying the imagery onto your headset, right? Doing the actual, um, doing the actual display on the monitors in your, in your device, be it, you know, a headset or a phone. Yeah. 
Okay, so now I want to talk a little bit more about 3.js. So this is a cross-browser JavaScript library that is used to create and display animated 3D computer graphics in a web browser. Essentially, someone, you know, the st again, we're standing on the shoulders of giants here. Um, someone using the WebGL graphics library standard, um, they have created just another JavaScript library with built-in components that you can use to... Um, create a kind of you create a 3d graphics application um, on the web and it provides you with three main things um, and that's what we're going to use in our little code example um, from 3.js is a scene a camera and a function to render that and then using this in tandem with the web xr device api we will send that over to um, our headset to our device Okay, so let's look at an amazing example of these two libraries in action. So we're going to go here to the Hello Web XR app right here. Okay, I'll see you guys in VR. All right, here we are in a new reality, and welcome to the Hello Web XR application. So this application, it's very cool. Again, like I said, we're in VR. Um, it is run on the WebXR API in 3.js. And what it is is just a collection of experiments and samples of the kinds of things that you can do um, using these two libraries. Um, yeah, and it's amazing. It looks great. So let's go over to just a, an example here. Hopefully you could hear the sounds of me moving with the uh, teleporter. Very cool. Um, and let's see if we could play an instrument. And yep, it works perfectly. Again, all this run just using JavaScript, which I think is amazing. So let's um, culture ourselves a little bit. We could even just look at some paintings pretty closely. I mean, we could, we could stand very close. We can move up really close and just kind of observe and look at it or if i stand back then we can kind of magnify it and look at the finer details of these paintings yeah really cool just javascript <laughs> and i'm i'm just blown away that they were able to kind of make just such a cohesive vr application using just web development technologies um here's just one last thing that i want to show you guys a graffiti wall that they set up so you come into this section then you get a um, can on your ha hand with a color palette and you can just paint on a wall. No need to van vandalize anything. I was going to actually say hi. I did the eye first. Hi, everyone. And then a smiley face, right? And then you could change colors to kind of whatever you want. Oh, see, still a little bit buggy, right? But pretty good, right? A pretty good. VR app just for being run on JavaScript. I, I'm blown away. I'm very impressed, right? So, and it was this experience, experience that really got me interested in this, um, these libraries, right? I was just blown away by what you could do. Um, and I'm still learning. I don't know everything, but I think now is a good time to kind of go into the code and see um, just a simple kind of starting point using these two libraries and also show you guys a tool that you could use if you do not have a VR headset at home. So I'll see you guys back in 2D. Okay, welcome back to 2D. And so before we get started on the actual code of a... Uh, a, just a simple WebXR application, I wanted to share with you some of the resources that I found to be very helpful in learning about this particular API, these, these libraries, um, and give you access to them so you can start building applications on your own. So this kind of serves as the homepage for the WebXR device API. Um, it gives a very great overview of just what the API does, what it's used for, some demonstrations like this one that we saw at the very beginning of the video, um, some profiling going on with these samples, um, the benefits of doing it, uh, examples out in the real world of people using this API. Um, someone made a dinosaur park 
which is very cool. I think that's a great use of this API, um, as well as the Hello WebXR API that we saw. And that is something that you could go in and try out if you have a headset. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, but my favorite part here is actually the uh, 3.js boilerplate that they have ready. They have other frameworks as well, but we're gonna go ahead and stick with this one. Um, as I think it, like they said, it has good documentation, good examples. Um, and just a, a really great beginning for you know where you could take your code and building an XR application. Um, so yeah, so this website is one resource that I highly recommend. Um, another resource that has been somewhat helpful is the actual documentation for the API. Um, it's been very difficult to read and to kind of digest and get through, um, but it's a lot of really good, helpful information. And if you're interested in getting into this API, it's something that you should read. But I also have another kind of easier to digest documentation of the API. It's this WebXR device API explained. It's, they call it their explainer. They have it right here. Um, and it gives a very simplified look at what the API can do and how to best use it, answering some frequently asked questions, you know, what the lifetime of your app should be, kind of what the basics of your app should be about like, you know, seeing whether or not that XR can be supported, um, having your user actually activate XR instead of just, you know, when the browser loads, act starting a an experience because, you know, that wouldn't really be helpful for most people at this point. Um, yeah, so this explainer has been very useful for me um, in learning more about the this API. All right, so that's enough of these resources, actually. All right, so that's not enough of these resources. Let us take a look at one final tool, and that is the WebXR API emulator. And they actually have a, a link here on this website, right here, where they talk about it on their blog. And they have links for both Firefox and Chrome. So in this video, we're gonna use Firefox. That's what I've gotten to work the most. Um, Chrome, I've had some issues with for loading specific examples. Um, and this boilerplate in particular, I've had the most luck with Firefox. So we're gonna go ahead and stick with that. So download this extension if you want to follow along. Go ahead and copy the boilerplate into your code and I'll meet you at the code. All right, so welcome to the boilerplate. I just straight copied and pasted it over. Um, and yeah, let's kind of walk through, see what they're giving us here. So first, we are importing everything from 3 from the CDN, and we're importing the VR button from the WebXR um, device API here. And 3.js uh, provides us with the three kind of main things that we talked about. That's a scene, a camera, and a renderer. And then we will use that renderer in tandem with the WebXR um, API, this VR button that we're importing, and then we'll get an experience up and running with our emulator that we added um, to our browser on Firefox. So let's see it in our browser. Here it is. Our cube is spinning just as we desired. And let us now go ahead and t turn on the um, XR emulator and you just do that it's basically the same as the react dev tools you'll just inspect you'll go over and here it is in your dev tools and what it gives you is it's pretty cool you just get um, a headset that you get to choose from be it a very simple Google Cardboard to a Vive with uh, full controls right um, to just the Samsung Galaxy um, even giving you controls there as well. You can move them both. Uh, but we're going to use, oh, let's get back there. We are going to use the HTC Vive because that is most similar to what I have, my Oculus Rift. Um, so I'm going to enter VR, start the experience. You can see I have it on both eyes and we're gonna control our headset here. And this is kind of how you're able to debug the experience. So we're gonna go ahead and move it up. And as you can see on the left here, both eyes um, is what we're getting rendered back. That's what we did when we attached it to that button. We're getting both eyes rendered and it's here in the headset. So if we move, you can see everything's moving with us. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's a very simple tool that you could use. Um, boilerplate 
code that you could just copy and you already got an experience up and running up and close um, but yeah I hope that this has been helpful um, that you learned a little bit about an exciting emerging technology in the web development space and I'm excited to see kind of where it goes forward with developing applications for VR just using web technologies um, yeah so thanks and have a great day